Hi everyone, and welcome to my indie review vlog, the show that gives you spoiler-free reviews of indie films. My name is Asaf Angel from My Indie Productions, and today I'll be reviewing 2019's horror feature, Ragmark, written and directed by US indie filmmaker Eric Whiting, and starring my indie featured artist, US indie filmmaker and actor Tim Novotny, who was also responsible for the film's original score. Thank you, Eric, for sharing your film with us. Victor Graves, a young man portrayed by Novotny, is heavily burdened by a troubled past. He returns to his secluded and abandoned family home in rural Ohio, where he isolates himself completely. We learn a little bit about Victor's perspective as a character while he pays a visit to an old neighbor and family friend, Walt, played by Jeff Berkman. The two men share their take on the world, each from his own perspective. Both are reciprocating while sharing similar notions on society and life in general. Victor also nurtures an online relationship with a young woman, Regina, played by Aaron R. Ryan, whom he supposedly had a romantic involvement with and is somewhat comforted by her company. Once arriving at the family home, Regina seems to be his only remaining emotional connection to the city and the world he arrived from. Following an attack by what seemed to be a strange, potentially deranged man, Victor begins to experience recurring nerve-wracking sounds and sightings, which really put his sanity to the test. Armed with what appears to be a 12-gauge shotgun coupled with hard liquor, always a good combination, Victor aims to ride out these nasty encounters with whomever or whatever it is that harasses him. Beautifully shot in black and white, Whiting, who also helms as director of photography, gives us a slow burn story almost completely led by its eerie atmosphere as we experience what burdens Victor with the same dread and uncertainty as he does. It strongly feels that Victor is submerged in melancholy from the moment he's introduced, lost in his own pain trying to find his way back to the world. Tim Novotny's mostly restrained performance perfectly delivers the pace and draws us into the world of the story. Ragmark. That was what I called it. A presence I could only feel in the dead of night. Alone. This thing followed my every move. My grandpa assured me it wasn't real, but nothing could convince me otherwise. Eric wisely built this story in a minimalistic cinematic fashion, harnessing our imagination and creating tension by using mostly what we can't see in frame, all the while sharing Victor's point of view. Aside from the admirable and captivating performances by Tim, Jeff, Aaron, and other performers involved, Eric uses contrasted noir lighting and rich, eerie sound elements to deliver his vision. I believe the only issue I had with the film has to do with some lengthy horror sequences which felt to have had a confusing structure at times, meaning they played out in a way that was unclear regarding how they helped the progression of the story. Having said that, the film as a whole slowly and surely crawls under your skin and does an excellent job in delivering a subtext-packed horror tale that will likely echo in your head long after the credits roll. Ragmark gets an 8 out of 10 on the Look at Me, I'm a Film Critic scale. The film's available on DVD, Blu-ray, and via online streaming, links included. We've recently launched the My Indie Review Vlog Vimeo channel. If you'd like to catch up on past episodes from some amazingly talented indie filmmakers, please check it out. You can also find many of our entertaining promo videos for most episodes. All is waiting for you on the channel, link included. Until next time, keep supporting indie film, watch, share, spread the word. My name is Asaf Angel, and I thank you for tuning in to my indie review vlog. I'll see you next Thursday.